So where did the idea for spotted gum come from? Was that an experiment? No, no, uh, not really. Um, I made some drums out of brown mallet years ago. This is 25 years ago. Mm. The brown mallet is a really good timber for, the, uh, for drums. It's hard and it's fairly straight grain. These are for axe handles, actually. And the spotted gum is for axe handles, too, because they're very similar. Both from New South Wales, but you get, in Queensland, but you get a lot of trees here, street trees, mm. for the councils and that. So, And I wanted to make... Most people, if they use a hard wood, they get a high pitch. Yep. I don't work that way. I get low pitches out of hard woods by making a shell thinner so that you the bottom end gets amplified. It's like with your band, you know, uh, when you're doing a concert, 80, 90% of the power has to go to boost the bottom end. Mm. It's like with the jarrah kits, it's hard wood. They're not cross-laminated, so the bottom end gets punched out pretty hard. And with this, in a harder wood, it'll be a higher pitch. And I didn't want that, so I made these you know, very thin shells. Because they're much thinner than jarrah, yep. but it's very strong timber. If you make the shell thinner, you drop the pitch. Yep. But it's hard wood, so it amplifies it. You with me? It yeah. works. You yeah. know. Whereas we're DW, not, DW we're... just bought another drum out, and they're calling it Philippines mahogany, which of course doesn't exist. It's really sure here. It's the stuff off the back of wardrobes. So they got so much money to, to to make it sound good. You know, make it they make a turd sound like a diamond. But that's soft wood. And in the old days, those old maximum kits and that they're mellow, but the minute you start playing, you can't hear them. Mm. That's why I wanted didn't want to get a low pitch from a from a soft wood because you get a soft sound too, you know? And these things have got to be able to cut through. By gee, these things cut through. Did you know that these were written up about the loudest drummers on the planet? Did uh, you know I, that? I didn't know that, but when I heard it, it sounded like the loudest they drum are. on the planet. That's because they're so hard. that wood's so hard. People don't make drums that wood that hard. Yeah. Uh, and plus it's that stuff all the way through. That's fairly expensive to do. They don't do that. They'll put shit in the middle or something, you know? I'm not into that. Well, that's the same. I'm not in it to make money, I'm in it to make good sounds and sometimes there's no compromise.